Hey everyone, this is just to take your right to repair guy and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you the easiest way to put your iPhones or iPad into the purple mode on your Windows machine so that you can edit your soft NAND information. This video can help you in many ways like if you want to edit or modify your NAND information or if you want to perform your iCloud bypass on the Wi-Fi iPad using the serial change RAM disk method or if you want to change your Wi-Fi Bluetooth address from your NAN info of your device. So this software can help you in many ways if you are a hardware technician or a software guy that works on the iOS devices. If you are an old viewer of my channel, you probably know I have already made a video on the Magic CFG Mac version and some third party tools that are available for your Windows machine. But some of them are not working in 2024 for Windows. Magic CFG is working good on Mac but for Windows, there are very less alternative that are good and working. I have created some alternative tool videos but probably they have some issues like they are not updated for 2024 or some drivers issues and else. So now we will see the latest tool and how it works. So without further delay, let's start this process. Alright, first you need to download this magic CFG zip file. For that, just check out the description link. You will get my blogspot link. Just go there and easily download it. After that, you need to extract it first. If it asks for a password, just enter FRP file. I will display the password on the screen. So before you run it or extract it, make sure you disable your antivirus or Windows firewall or allow this app in the firewall setting so that you will not get any restriction from the firewall because sometimes the antivirus and Windows Defender may block these apps or restrict the process. So make sure you turn it off and then you can run it. Next here is the tool interface. You will see Magic CFC version 1.0 and it's for Windows machine and you will see all the options and the features that are available on the Magic CFG Mac version are same on this Windows version as well. So it's a complete copy of the mac version to the windows so it's a good thing so now let's see the supported model list in the iphones if you have a iphone is the first generation iphone 6s to iphone x that are supported models in the iphones and if you talk about the ipad ipad air second generation are supported ipad mini 4 ipad fifth generation sixth generation ipad pro 10.5 e10x supported ipad pro second generation ipad pro first generation 12.9 and ipad 9.7 inch and so on so you can check out the supported model list but i see some ipads are missing in the list even if it is supported with a purple mode or magic cfg mac version like older ipads that are not available in the list so you can try older ipads also like ipad mini 2 ipad second generation ipad third generation ipad mini first generation ipad air 1 that are missing in the list so you can also try all those models on this probably it will work and if you see some errors so that means it is not supported or the booting ram this file for those iPads are not available in this Windows version but you can try older Magic CFG Mac version that will work for the older iPad also and if you look closer you will see some model require the DCSD cable and some may not. DCSD cable are the engineering purple mode cable that will help you to journey the NAN info. There are only some models that are required for generating the NAN info with the help of DCSD cable or Magico cable but there are lots of other names and other boxes that are available like p10 repair box or i10 repair box so there are some alternative of that and some models only works with a lightning cable that is your normal lightning cable so these are the list if you see that iphone se first generation 6s and 6s plus dcsd cable required but if you see the iphone 7 7 plus 8 8 plus and x there are nothing written there so that means that will work with the normal lightning cable and if you scroll down more you will see very important line for higher os maybe you will see the boot loop issue after you change the serial even if you put the normal purple mode on those iphones or ipad model that having the higher os like ios 16 and 17 you will probably face the booting issues or boot loop so for that you need to full flash your device or you can do the retain update if you want to save some data so that is option available if you face the boot loops and boot loops may occur only in ios 16 and 17 for iOS 15, iOS 13, 14 and 12, you may not see the boot loops as that is the older version. So we will see full practical process of all these models. So these are all the important information and the supported devices list. So first I got this iPhone 7 that is running on the latest iOS 15.8 for this model. And just a short disclaimer before I go through this tool, make sure you have a complete knowledge of the NAN information like what are the changes and what are the 
the consequences if you do some changes and if you don't know how to use the tool or you're dealing with the NAND info for the first time do not make unnecessary changes in the device NAND information because in some cases the result may break your device in soft or a hard break or your complete wipe your NAND information and after that your device may not have the valid information or it will stuck on the unable to activate screen and there are some other difficulties so do not make unnecessary changes save all the original NAND information backup before doing any changes because if you go something wrong with any step you can easily retrieve your original data and roll back the process easily write the original NAND data again with the same process so always be careful with all this information as it is linked with the hardware and the software of your iOS device so now I have connected my device in the normal mode with the normal cable as it not required the DCSD one so first copy the ECID that are showing on the tool or you can copy it from the three tools Next, you need to register it first. That's completely free. Click on that register ECID option. After that, the web page will open like this. Just scroll it down, wait for 30 seconds and just enter your ECID and click on submit. After that, it will register for free. I will give this registration page link on my blog so you can directly go there. Easily register your ECID for free. Once you have registered, just reconnect your device so that the registration will take effect. Next, you need to put your iPhone into the DA DFU mode so press the DFU button combination directly and also there are some other option on the tool like fix the diag mode drivers or USB drivers purple mode driver so you can press that option if you want to fix those so my drivers is already fixed so I will just ignore that step now it's in the DFU mode and tool will also show you it's connected in the DFU mode or you can confirm it by opening the 3U tools. Next you need to click on the boot purple mode that is written on the top box. Now just wait for some minute it will install the USB drivers, the purple mode direct drivers and also it will install and download the boot RAM this file for the specific iPhones or iPad that you are using or connected with this tool. So just wait for it. Make sure your internet connection is strong so that all the download files will be fast and in some cases your device may restart automatically. That means the process is failed. So just read DFU and retry the process or just fix the drivers from the repair or install drivers option and after that keep trying it and it will work. So now you can see it starts sending the tight drivers and boot ram this file to the device so that means it's working now in the process it will ask you to install the drivers click on the install anyway and after that you will see the purple screen on my device and the process is completed you will see the green sign on the tool now the com port will be show if and if it's not showing just uh, refresh from that button or reconnect the cable and after that the com port will be show and in the worst case if it's still not showing then you can just click on the driver usb repair option and that all your usb driver will be fixed now click on the connect and read option and it will show all your NAND soft data that is linked with your device hardware you will get serial wi-fi address bluetooth address your battery model and other important stuff so now further it's up to you how you can use this information and the tool for your purpose there are many cases you can use the tool as i mentioned in the starting for this video we'll only see the tool working so i will just click on the reboot ITY and show you the other models with the DCSD cable and how it's work and also in this device you will not face any boot loop issue as it's on the iOS 15 that is old and if you have the newer iOS version like iPhone X and 8 on iOS 16 and other iPads that is on the iOS 17 that will face the boot loop issues so to fix that as I mentioned you need to flash or restore your device from the 3U tools or you can use the iTunes so let me just show you the other devices Now next I got this iPhone 6s that is running on the latest iOS 15.8 and this model required the DCSD cable so I will perform the purple mode on this and generate the NAND info. Why I am showing you all this with a different model so that you will get an idea like this tool is working the different model. So I have got this DCSD cable and the Magico cable as well. So I will just try it with the DCSD cable. If you have the Magico cable that will also work so the light indication is working. So now let me just put it directly into the DFU mode this device I have already registered so I will just a uh, little bit fast forward this video so that it will save your time and you will get some idea like how it's work
so now you can see the nan info is showing the process is same you need to put into the dfu boot the purple mode click on the connect and read your info so now you can see everything looks good so i will just reboot the device Now the next device I will show you on the iOS 16 iPhone X so that you will get an idea how the boot loop is coming and how you can fix it. So I will just connect it and put DFU and the same process. For iPhone X also the normal cable will work. Now in some cases you will not see any color or purple screen on your device but you will see some highlighted light on your device. So don't worry about that the exploit is done and you will see the success message. Just click on the connect and read and after that you will see all your information. So now on the iPhone X also the nan info is showing and everything looks good but after I reboot the device you will see the Apple logo continuously in a loop that means our device is stuck on the boot loop that are specially for iOS 16 and 17 supported devices with this magic CFG Windows version. So to fix that it's very simple just put your device into the recovery mode or DFU mode directly again on the same boot loop. Next open the 3u tools now next go to the flash option now here you need to select the quick flash mode in that all your data will be erased but your device will be stay normal but if you are only testing the tool like i am doing you just need to click on the retain data option in that your data will be saved and your device will be go back to the normal but if you are changing the serial number and the nan info it is better to full flash the device and then it will go into the normal mode and you can also use the itunes dfu flash or vstore that works with the same so let's wait for the complete flash so now you can see that after the flash turn the device working normal and there is no more boot loop so that is how you can use this magic cfg windows version and easily put your supported iphones or ipad model into the purple mode so that you can generate the nan info so that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed today's session if yes just hit the like button and if you are new here subscribe to the channel for more cool updates I will see you another one so till then goodbye take care and peace out.